Last year, I made a video on total cost of ownership of EV versus ICE, and I made it uh, using my own methodology, writing my own programs uh, to do it. And you can see it uh, in the description section or the eye icon here. Uh, but some of you might be thinking that that episode may be biased because I mostly talk about pro EVs these days. So you may not believe that episode fully. So what I decided today is I will feed this information to an AI engine and see what comes out of it, whether my study was right or not. So we're going to find out that one today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Green and Clean YouTube channel. My name is Vittal. Most of the episodes I shoot inside my car, but today I chose to shoot it inside the work pod uh, in my home. So this is a nice uh, little work pod, so it can expand, it can retract, uh, etc., etc. And uh, I'll try to put a, a link where you can find this work, work pod. This is not sponsored by them. I'm just mentioning it while I shoot this video. Um, also, a kind uh, reminder to check some of the videos uh, that I've made uh, in this channel previously. So there are there's going to be some interesting content that you might not find elsewhere in um, in YouTube. So have a look at these uh, videos and if you like please like the videos subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for today's episode i'll be using perplexity ai uh, for uh, for this study uh, perplexity is one of the best if not the best uh, ai uh, engine out there but you can try this in any other uh, ai engines of your choice uh, i will also paste the prompts that i'll be using in the description section but let me just read out uh, today's prompt there'll be two prompts one for the petrol car use case and the other for the ev car use case I'll read out the prompt for the petrol car use case. It's uh, like this. I have bought a petrol car worth rupees 15 lakhs. It gives me a mileage of 15 kilometers per liter, although I doubt that you can get an average 15 kilometers per liter uh, with any petrol car. It will be slightly less than this, but I'll just consider 15 kilometers per liter as an average. The cost of petrol is rupees 102 per liter. The annual maintenance cost of the car is rupees 7,000. My daily running is 50 kilometers. Once a month, I do long trips of about 600 kilometers. Consider insurance cost as per the market trends in India. Consider an inflation rate of 5%. And I will ask uh, TCO in two categories. What will be the TCO of my car for the next 10 years without considering the resale value of the car? And the next part is what will be the TCO of my car for the next 10 years with the resale of the car? So here are the results. Uh, I have pasted the, the prompt and uh, recorded the session here. So I, you can see I'm still on perplexity AI and this is the answer. So first case uh, with the 15 lakh rupees car, it says the total cost of ownership is 37.95 lakhs considering the resale value of the car. And it, uh, it has done it pretty accurately. And if I go down to the final results it says with the resale value it is 35.7 lakhs and total cost is rupees 14 per kilometer and for, for 2.55 lakh kilometers now the prompt for the ev car i have bought an ev car worth rupees 20 lakhs so i'm considering an ev which is 5 lakh more than the petrol car for the the same segment and the same round about the same uh, size etc etc so People say that EV cars are expensive, so I'm just putting 5 lakh rupees more for an EV car, even though this gap is narrowing and someday in the future, both petrol and EV cars will have a price parity. But for this case, uh, considering the cost of the EV car at rupees 20 lakhs, it gives me a mileage of 6 kilometers per kilowatt hour, although the mileage uh, uh, is slightly more than 6, it, is, it, it changes, it varies between 6 to 8 kilometers, but I will take a lower band of 6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. And the next is I have an, I have installed a solar power plant of three kilowatt and use electricity to charge the car. Those who are uh, staying in independent houses, the private houses in India can easily do this. So that's the uh, third point. And the next point is annual maintenance cost is rupees four thousand. My daily running is the same fifty kilometers, and once a month I do long trips of about six hundred kilometers, where I use public charging, co costing rupees. 2.5 per kilometer. So this is a realistic figure. When you use public charging in use in the EV, uh, you get around 2.5 rupees per kilometer. Sometimes it's three if it's real expensive, but I've, I'll consider it as 2.5. Consider an insurance cost as per the market trends in India. Consider an inflation rate of 5% and two sections of TCO. What will be the TCO of my car for the next 10 years without the resale value of the car and 
what will be the DC of my car for the next 10 years with the resale value of the car. And then I tested the EV car use case, uh, what I explained uh, just now. And you can see the cost here. It is 16.68 lakhs for EV cars, ECOs. So whatever I said uh, in my episode last year, the, the AI engines are more or less telling the same thing. It is phenomenally less to have to, to it's, it's a phenomenally less TCO for uh, an EV car with the solar uh, charging. And then what I did is, what if I don't have means to install solar panels and what will be the cost in that case? So in this case, the user is charging using the electricity boards and the home charging cost is slightly more, but even with that, the TCO is 18.18 lakhs, still much, much less than the petrol car. And then I went one step ahead and I told, what if I use public charging fully? I have no home charging. Then it calculated the cost with the public charging. So the public charging cost will be around 8 lakhs for this entire duration. And the total TCO is around 21.24 lakhs, still way less than the 35 and 37 lakhs that you saw for the petrol cars. And I went ahead and asked it, can you give me a side-by-side -side comparison of two cases? So it gave a good uh, tabular form like this. So you can see, you can pause and see uh, on your screen here, the TCO with the resale value is 16.68 lakhs with solar and public charging. And then only public charging, it is 21.24 lakhs. I went ahead one more step and said, please add petrol car use case also to this table. And it did it beautifully. Uh, you can pause and see the video here. So. It is 16.68. If you have solar with public charging, it will be 21.24 lakhs. If you do completely public charging and for the petrol car, it is 37.94 lakhs. While I did it, I saw that it is probably unfair with the resale values here. It says resale value for petrol car is only 1.5 lakhs, whereas for EV cars, it is 9.77 lakhs. I don't know why or how it did that. I don't think this is true. So what I asked is, can you add a row for TCO without the resale value? And it did it. And let's see, let's forget the resale value. Okay, so no, no resale value considered. And you can see in the last row here, even without considering the resale value, the, oh, the TCO of owning an EV with solar and public charging is 26.45 lakhs. With fully public charging is 31 lakhs. And with petrol car, it is still high 39 lakhs. So this is it guys this is what uh, i wanted to say in today's episode even if you use any ais you will find similar uh, results so that's what uh, i and many people like me have been telling having an ev car saves you big 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 time money uh, on the long run okay some of you may be saying that i don't have so much running for my car i run only like 30 kilometers a day with some uh, annual uh, long trips etc etc so i have also prompted uh, the ai with uh, this use case so Please consider only 30 kilometers a day with annual long trips of about 2,000 kilometers. So this is roughly about 10 to 12,000 kilometers a year. And can you give me the nice tabular form for all three cases? And it has given me this. As you can see here, you can pause the video if you want, if you want to see it for yourself. But to explain it, petrol car uh, with the high mileage, uh, it is saying the TCO is 26.77 lakhs with the resale. And without the resale, it is 29.22 lakhs. Petrol car with the typical mileage, it says 23.11 lakh, and with, without the resale, 25.55 lakhs. And EV with a mix of solar plus public is 14.57 lakhs. And without the resale value, the cost is 24.35 lakhs. And EV with full public, uh, it is 13.87 uh, lakhs with the resale, and without the resale, it is 23.64 uh, lakhs. What you can Observe here that the last column without uh, without the last uh, without the reset value, you can see that still petrol cars have a high TCO or a higher TCO compared to an EV car. Thank you very much for watching this episode.